Ann Arbor mother of three is hoping she'll be allowed to stay in this country. Lourdes Bautista is undocumented. She's been in the U.S. since 1997. Her children were all born here and the federal government says she is to be deported. Mar McDonald is in Ann Arbor tonight as more than 200 friends and immigration activists marched to bring attention to this case. Plenty of friends and immigration activists came out tonight protesting the scheduled deportation of Lourdes Bautista. No deportation. Bautista came to America in 1997. The government ordered her deported in 1998. Her brother is a U.S. citizen and speaking with the help of an interpreter tonight, she told us how this all unfolded. She wasn't aware that she had an order of deportation in 98 because they didn't send it to the address where she was living. So when they came to her house in 2010, she had no idea what was going on because she had never seen an order of deportation for her case. In the last 20 years, Bautista and her husband, who the feds deported in 2010, had three children, all are U.S. citizens. Attorneys have been appealing her deportation order for the last six years. Tonight, Immigration and Customs says she needs to leave by August 2nd. She desperately wants to stay. This is Estados Unidos, United States. It's... She says for her children's education, for their school, for the activities that they're involved in, including soccer. And she says this is the United States, you know, this is, she's living the dream. What I want to say is, like, why? Why you're deploying my mom? She hasn't done anything. Back here live, originally ICE said that Bautista had to show up tomorrow morning and show proof that she had purchased a plane ticket so that she could leave this country on August 2nd. They have relented and said that her attorney can come in her stead and provide that proof that that plane ticket has been purchased. Devin Kimberly, back to you. Mara, does she have any hope for a reprieve? Kimberly, actually she does. Technically, ICE is telling her attorney that her case is under review, but here's the bigger issue. Bautista's oldest daughter is 19 years old. In two years, when she is 21, she would be allowed to legally bring her mother back to Mexico or back from Mexico to stay here. So does the federal government deport her and then allow her back in two years or do they issue another stay and allow her to stay here for two years until her daughter can legally file that paperwork? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll see how see. it all works out. Yep, okay. Mara, thanks. Devin.